Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay and Poshmark over the holiday weekend. Yeah, man. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Hi. Hi. I think we have like almost 40 things, 38, something like that going on today. Okay. I mean, that's not, it's, it's kind of a lot. It's but not where we want to be. You know Yo, what I mean? eBay shipping was broken. It, it's a lot for some people, but not for us. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, eBay shipping, bulk shipping tool was having some issues earlier today. We were um, running late. Uh, it seems to have fixed itself at the moment. So we're going to we're gonna get this done. We're going to start with Poshmark, though, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're starting with these Merrill boots that we just listed. So the numbers... I've been listing stuff, and they can give you a little bit of a clue as to how recently they're listed, but I'm a little bit out of order. It's fine. These are Merrill Women's Size 8.5 Accentuator. Accentor. Sorry, not Accentuator. That is not even what it says. Accentor Brown Otter Hiking Boots. All These right. are women's. They're going on Poshmark. So where are the tabs? Where's the tabs? Here we go. Here we go. Tabby tab tabs. Here we go. So they look like this. And they sold for thirty-eight dollars. You know, some people get more for these kind of boots. We just don't. <laughs> we sold a men's pair the other day for forty or something. And a lot of people get like a hundred. I don't. I don't know what the deal is. But I still am happy with a thirty-eight dollar profit. I mean, sale price. It says these cost ten dollars. It's not that. ten dollars. Nah. That doesn't sound right. Did we get? No, I think we got them from the the warehouse. The warehouse. You remember? Don't you? No. This is down by Fair Park. Oh. The furniture store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a weird little pickup then. All right. Work. There we great. go. Y'all, I got Botox in my scalp today. Woo! Right to the noggin. <laughs> For uh, migraines. We'll see if it works. Yeah. I've suffered with migraines since I was four years old. I am ready to have something that maybe kind of works. Yeah, I can imagine. Right into the scalp. <laughs> I, I watched it happen. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not supposed to bend down. No Don't, bending. No bending over. No pressing. No pressing. No bending. No heavy lifting. She said I couldn't exercise. I was like, oh, this is just oh. horrible. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Bless. All right. Merrill's packed up. Ready. Next. Next. Is this pair of pants from Ann Taylor. These came from an estate sale. And I'm going to show them to you right now. Do that. Ann Taylor, size 14, red ankle pants, side zip, red twice, uh, floral cotton stretch vintage. So I normally don't repeat the color in the listing <laughs> twice. Uh, they sold for $17, which I think is actually pretty good. That's pretty good. The vintage Ann Taylor tag kind of looks like this. I remember wearing this Whoa, tag. I am vintage. Oh, you stop. Seriously. Uh, I don't know that we would list these today. If you're vintage, I'm an antique. You are definitely an antique. Oh. But you're super valuable and treasured. Oh. See? That's sweet. <clears throat> All right. So next, somebody's gonna ask why you tape that down. I tape this down just because I like it that way. It makes it. Makes it more comfortable. He's German. <laughs> <laughs> All right, efficient as possible. <laughs> All right, this is a suit from Peter Milar. Yeah. We just listed this. Super excited. Our other assistant kitty loves to list menswear. So we're like. Bonus. Come on. Yeah. Uh, this is the Peter Millar men's size 40 regular waist 34 suit. Glenn check window pane two piece gray drop six. I've never found a full suit from Peter Millar. It sold very fast. I expected fully this to sell on eBay. It did not. Right. What is I think happening? this sold within three or four days of listing, if not quicker than that and it sold for 119 dollars come on poshmark we use photo room to do photos like this so you can tell instantly that it's a full suit 
we just collage this together. So we take a picture of this and then we take a picture of the pants and then we put them together in the same. Um, and then we also do the inside out photo so you can see the lining of the sport coat. Yep. There's the Union. There's the Peter Millar logo. And this is the Glen Plaid window pane. It's kind of both. Kind of both. And uh, there's tons of resources online if you want to know about when menswear patterns. Yeah. Millions. And here's what our message board looks like. This is crazy. For suits, <laughs> we put so many measurements. I mean, you, you have, have to. to. You have yeah. to. And somebody's still going to ask us what the leg opening is. Ah, every time. That's like the new one. We got to add it. Everyone loves asking about the leg opening. So we don't have as many sales as we would like, but I would like to tell you that some of these- Some of these are really good. Some of them are good sales. Yeah. And I think our profit will be reflective of that and I'm happy. Come on profit, right? I thought something was wrong. No. Okay. <clears throat> oh. I can't bend down. Don't bend down. Just don't press do my that. face. Okay. It just, it went right over. It sure did. <laughs> We're gonna be okay here. We have these, pretty much stayed in order. We have these boxes that we put the inventory in. It was on the edge of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Next is another piece of menswear. This is here, right? Can you answer this question? Stand by. Do you know the answer to that? Yes. Okay. All right. So the next is, uh, oh. thank you. Excuse me while I pull this up. This is a really nice work coat. Yeah. Dan's gonna have a little. Uh, but I have a little. I had a little meltdown about this little one. Little baby meltdown. But you know what? Lesson learned. Lesson. This is Laura Piana. I would love to show you more about this brand because it's fantastic. I didn't get that. I'm not talking. That's because I'm not talking to you. Okay, uh, Laurel Piana Mainline, meaning that it's made at Laurel Piana of Laurel Piana fabric. How many more times can I say Laurel Piana? Go for it. I mean, at least seven. Size 40 long, sport coat, super 130 Tasmanian wool gray pinstripe. This went for $40. Normally for Laurel Piana, I'm going to, I said it again, I'm going to show you the tag. We can get closer to like 200 I, I mean, should have been yeah yeah this is also a super 160s this is a this is very nice. very nice sport coat but i say sport coat pretty lightly this is actually a suit jacket yeah the fact that it's pinstripe des i mean the it's destroyed the value gets destroyed and that's unfortunate i think we still would have picked it up though yeah i think so because i don't think you could have left it i don't i don't believe that. <laughs> uh most men just in case you're wondering from a fashion standpoint where a pinstripe suit only. A pinstripe sport coat without the pants is is a rough go of it. It's kind of faux pas. There's a little bit of a faux pas. There. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a forty dollar. We've had it listed a long time. So we just. I, be I believe I was called a rube for even listing such a oh, yeah, thing. Somebody called you that <laughs> in one of the comments. <laughs> a rube. Yes. Good times. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, complete and total banger coming up. Woo! You would never know this, except that, did I just close the tab? Oh, come on. No, you didn't, did you? Um, I, don't, I need help. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't Where, see anything. What are we trying to do here? I, I'm going to try to open. I think I may have closed the Oh, no. I no, closed you, something. I don't know what I closed. I don't know what you closed, but this one's okay to close. We'll leave that one up. Okay. Okay. All right. So I was telling you about the modest dress in one of our hauls and we got a one from Laura Ashley and a modest dress is something that has long sleeves and goes all the way to the floor. And a lot of times it's floral and a lot of times it's even corduroy. We found this one at the bins from Laura Ashley. I actually found it on camera. I think, nice. I think you, I was like, you better get that. I was like filming you. I think that's what happened. I don't recall that, but anyway. I, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Uh, we got this at the bins for a dollar. We showed it in a haul and it sold for $117 immediately. Yes. We got offers on all three <laughs> platforms for this. 
if you learn nothing else from our videos, learn that modest stuff like this sells and it sells for good money. Yep. This brand definitely helped. This is Laura Ashley. It's an English brand made in England. This is a really nice piece. It really is. Not all modest dresses will go for this. People that are buying these know, I mean, it's just like anything else, you know, quality. Yeah. Uh, so the title was Laura Ashley, women's size eight dress, long sleeve, floral, modest, 100% cotton, no slit. I used all caps there just to drive home the point. Here's the picture on the mannequin. Really beautiful ditzy print. A little bit of a puff sleeve and a little bit of a standing collar there. Belted, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Um, these, this is like a cottage core thing as well. I put that in the themes. But really the the customer for this, the buyer for this is gonna be someone looking for a modest uh, silhouette. So I encourage you to look twice at what we would consider in modern days, maybe not the most stylish option, but this is actually pretty gorgeous. So it is worth 100, I think I priced it at 130 and then we sent an offer and we agreed on 117, actually just immediately. It was yeah. so fast. Yep. I do not think I underpriced it. I'm not one of those people. I feel like it priced it right on. Oh, like when it sells so fast. Yeah. yeah, some people are like, oh, maybe I could have gotten more. I don't think so. I did look at comps pretty extensively, and it was worth about $100. So I think we did pretty well. Nice. Um, I love waiting. When you know something's worth money and it's good, you just wait, and the offers come in, yep. and then you just wait. Yep. And then on Poshmark, what I think happened is an offer came in, and then somebody had liked it, and then somebody – it was one of those. It was like a – you. Oh, you better act fast. Yeah, yeah, you better it. act fast. And then they bought it. Yes. There's a little – were almost Love i guess it. we could have auctioned it but i went just not enough okay next is a bonobos uh dan says bonobos made men size large performance golf polo striped blue yellow wicking wicking so, <laughs> uh it sold for 27 dollars, and i'm not sure why y'all but for bonobos this line does better and i just learned this from tara peak I think this, it's their golf. Their this golf made stuff. line. Yeah. It the comps are way, 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 way better. If this was just a regular bonobos, it, it would be like twenty bucks. I mean seven dollars, nice. but like, you know, in comparison, it's a lot more. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Same. Now. Okay, this is, I think, the second time we've sold this. Really? Or maybe somebody didn't pay or something. I can't remember. Hmm. This is Escada. Uh, we do love selling this brand. It doesn't sell for a ton, but it, it's consistent. Yeah. Escada, women's size 40, US 12, brown, wrap skirt, 100% linen, maxi length, natural vintage. And this sold for $28. I did not put modest on this. I'm not one of those, like, modest bombers. Because it does have some slits when you walk, but they're kind of wrapped around each other. I could have maybe used that, but I didn't need it. Maxi skirts are so in right now. Uh, let me get to the label here. That was perfect. Oh. Good job, Amy. Good job. <laughs> there it is. Hey. Opa. It's not a very good picture, to no, be it's honest. Not. <laughs> uh, anyway. So what I do when there's a European size, like a 40, is I always put the U.S. size after it. So if people aren't familiar with the brand, they can still kind of find their size. And I do that using Google. I hey. literally, uh, live list, you can come watch us, and I'll put in, I'll go straight to Google. You'll watch me do it. It's got a size chart. Yep. I do it every day. I do it's it today like 100 times. Pretty simple. And the more info for the buyer, you know, A, less questions they'll have to send, theoretically, yeah. less questions they'll have to send you. Um, okay, yeah. next is a pair of shoes, oh, which should have been worth shoes. a little bit more. True. But it's the end of the season, and I guess you took this over. I don't know. Or maybe it just got this low. I don't know. I'll, I'll save you. And I can't do that. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. Thank you. I can't bend down. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, make your husband do all the work. I was like, he already does. Uh, Todd's. This is a good brand, particularly in men's driving shoes. 
Mm -hmm. Todd's women's size seven and a half, leather, tan, black sandals, flat thong, slides, right. flip flop shoe. Could I put any more <laughs> words in the title? I'm sure you could have. Uh, these only sold for $16, oh, but man. very happy to send them to a new home. Get them out of here. We always take a picture of the soles. And uh, we use these little plastic shoe trees for things like this. They work out. They're all right. And there's the Todd's logo. Really, really high-end brand. These were hundreds of dollars originally. I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah. Todd's stuff is stupid expensive. All right. Got Next is another Bolo <laughs> brand. All right, what's been happening? Uh, just Poshmark, you know, normal <laughs> reselling happening. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a great brand of men's shirts to be able to look out for, for sure. The brand is Buck Mason. And it's very unassuming. Look, this just looks like a button down, right? Uh, it is very soft, so I think you would feel it. But then once you got to the tag, which is going to be down here, I feel like you would look this up. That's what happened to me. I was like, I didn't recognize it, and I looked it up. And uh, their, like, thicker flannel shirts do way better than the plain button downs. Yeah, they're more, like, shackety. Yeah, for sure. And they'll sell for, like, 100 bucks plus. I mean, no problem. Um, I, we had this one priced pretty high and then somebody sent an offer for 40 bucks and I went and checked the comps and every, like I said, everything that was like a plane, yeah. I checked comps on eBay. Everything that was plain was selling right around 40 bucks. Great. So what it's it. worth. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Um, we paid $3 for that. Okay. So sometimes in our videos, we have trends of things that pop up that are selling and we just didn't expect it. This is one of those videos <laughs> and yeah. For some reason, we sold diesel, lots of diesel this week. And so this is a pair of diesel jeans. And with diesel, you have to get the style very clear in your listing because people know which diesel they wear. Yep. This is diesel Zaff men's size 34, 32 boot cut flare jeans made in Italy. I put the style number, vintage, rare. I had these overpriced, I'll admit it. <laughs> uh, and they were listed for a minute, but here's the logo. You, it's mostly always in the men's jeans is right here on the fifth pocket. Yep. Diesel industry. And then inside, I'm not sure if we have a picture. Yeah, we do. It'll give you the style number and it's really helpful to look them up. Yeah. There's the, the name of it. But if you look up this with Zaf with the style number right here, it'll give you all the information you could ever want. And anyway, I think this is great. We got these at the bins and they sold so for a dollar and they sold for 50 bucks. Nice. Yeah, dudes are still <clears throat> loving diesel jeans. Yeah. Um, okay, and then finally we have a three-piece bundle. All right. And I don't recognize the name, so I think this might be just a random shopper. Organic bundle? Yeah, sometimes we have viewer bundles, which I'm always happy about, but I don't think that this is the case. Okay. And these were some, um, this is definitely a Y2K. Oh, we're going to need a box for this. We're going to need a bear, but I can't bend down. Don't do that. Okay. Y'all, yeah, if you've ever gotten Botox for migraines, tell me if it changed your life. I know, I know Gretchen, you told me it changed your life. All right, let's see here. So we have, there's a lot going on in this bundle. Yeah, there is. I'm just going to fly through these three things and show you. So this first thing is an Express Women's Large 1112, which is a junior size. Brown suede, overcoat, long trench, leather jacket, vintage. Definitely got this at the bins. It's not in perfect condition, but it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, very, very 90s looking to me at least. And then next is this Per Se Women's Size 12 Lace Animal Print Tank Top, 100% silk. Again, a Y2K forever. This might be a costume. Could be. This looks like a Penny Lane costume, but it's not a Penny Lane coat. She's going to add fur to it. Ooh. Oh, dude. I think this so is right. Penny Lane. You're so right. Because the next thing is this white skirt, which is an Anne Klein Women's Size 12 white skirt, A-line front rear. Did someone buy a costume? Somebody's building a costume. That's... Good job. All right. Costume designer over here is impressed. What? Let me look. 
Got it. Yeah, some something has something has to be. Or done. Bernie Spears or something, something. You know what I mean? Some kind of. This is definitely a Halloween situation. Yo, who is this? It's Brittany. I don't know. <laughs> this is definitely a costume. I, I just have this like itching feeling because it's so specific. Yeah. This is a costume. Anyway. If you know how nice that fits. That's it. Anyway, that bundle sold for $38.40. Is, that is $38.40 well spent. Yeah, man. Like a 100% silk shirt and a leather jacket. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sweet leather jacket. I know. All right. All right. Next, we have eBay. Come on, eBay. The first thing is a bundle going to Maggie. Oh, nice. Thanks, Thank Maggie. Thank you so much. She's yep. an OG. Yes, and they're really, really, really close. She's trying to match the colors. Yeah. I think our photography was okay. I think so. Think you could definitely okay. wear this as a monochrome. I think we're going to be fine. All right, let oh, me close right. all these. What? Posh work just kicked me out. Yeah, it's been doing that. <laughs> it's been doing that recently. Okay, so the first thing in the bundle is the soft surroundings. I just listed these yesterday, actually. Um, soft surroundings, women's size 16 Priscilla shimmer jeans. Blush shimmer pink. jeans. They are so cute. I actually was like trying to find these in my size because they're real cute. And then uh, this Talbot's Women's Top Ruffle Pink 100% Cotton Blouse. And they are very similar in color. Yes. So I think you're going to be great here. And this bundle, she paid $25.46 for each piece. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. You could have sent me an offer. That's so nice. It's just so nice. We will refund any shipping if that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know how much you paid. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. She said, she said that the slower shipping well, would be fine, but priority is cheaper. She was in California. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have been doing a thing where we've been listing lots of things, meaning like a group of things, because we had some things that were not as valuable, still desirable, but not as valuable on their own. So we put them into lots, and I'm going to show you. Some of those have been selling. Is exciting. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is this lot of two, and this is how we've been doing it. If you haven't seen our recent videos, this is Dharma something. Dharma Trading Co. Women's size large lot of two tops, tie dye, not front cotton USA. These are vintage. I wasn't sure what to price these at. I really wasn't, and so we put them like this in the cover photo, and then we do the individual photos as you gosh this is so fast <laughs> uh anyway we got this at an estate sale so i wasn't even i mean there's no brand tag it's just this which is in the side of the shirt <clears throat> yeah uh but they look the same and they were the same size that's the key you gotta they gotta be the same and they, it's all for twenty dollars someone sent an offer and i was you were just wanting to clear some stuff for yeah sure. and we don't I mean, we would have redonated this because yeah. individually they were worth $10, which I figured. And so now we're selling them. That's great. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Happy with that. Um, I was feeling, James had a video out. I watched it on Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, recently. And he said that he felt like his offers weren't going out this weekend. Yeah. Same thing happened to us. I sent offers and offers and offers and nobody was countering, which is very weird. So all of the sales that you're seeing right here, for the most part, are people sending me offers out of the blue. Or just buying it. Right. Normally, it's a counter offer situation. I would say, I don't know, probably, I'm just guessing like 70% of the time, it's a counter offer mm -hmm. from an offer I've sent out. Yeah. None. So, would we have made 70% more sales? I don't know. Uh, I mean, theoretically. I mean, I can't prove that they weren't getting the offers. I can't prove that. Maybe right. they just all people all weekend didn't want my offer. <laughs> I mean, it could, right? Right. Okay, the uh, next is, oh, this is a bolo. Yeah, it is. I bought this off the mannequin at the thrift store. And I was like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, no, no get that. I'm going to show you what it is. Because I think you can find these. 
This is Coach. And our thrift stores have Coach. But this is the one you want. The Poppy. Poppy. Not this exact purse always. It's a line of purses from the 2000s. And I'm going to click here so you can see. It says Coach Poppy on the label. And they're always really loud like this. Oftentimes they're plaid. Oftentimes they're huge bucket bags with uh, front pockets and big rounded snaps. This one still has the tag. It's got the glitter. The handle's in great shape. Uh, this is how we take pictures of purses. Always show the inside of the purse if you're new to purse selling. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it look like it's cracking up? <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah. This sold for, excuse me, $59.95, full price. <sighs> Boom. Sold. So that means for me that someone went in and was like, Coach Poppy Purse. And they found my Coach Poppy purse yes. and they bought it. Yes. Remember yes. that video? We have the best listing. In Remember that video where we were looking for the Coach Poppy purse? Yeah. Couldn't find it. Turned out. It was out, listed. It was already listed and shelved away. All right. Next is menswear. Yes. See, we've been buying menswear and, and listing it. And what do you know? What sells. do you know? This is another two-piece suit. It's so great to have an assistant that loves doing menswear. It's so great. Yeah. Okay, this is from Hart Schaffner and Marks HSM, men's size 40 regular, waist 36, suit blue pinstripe drop for USA made. Now, a pinstripe in this case is an asset. Really great to have a two piece pinstripe. There's no middle ground here. Yeah. It's either great or not great. And I will show you the tag on the Hart Schaffner Marks. Made in the USA right there. There it is. The tag hasn't really changed in this brand that much. There's been a couple. There's, the newer one is like, I got one the other day. It's, it's like, way different. It's, it's much larger. It just says HSM. In like, oh, okay. Yeah, in script letters. This sold, I think, in probably three days, maybe a little less. Something like that. It sold for $85. Nice. Come what on, man. What do we pay for it? $569. $569. We get our suits very cheap at our thrift stores. I don't know. I've been to, when we travel and we look at suits. No, be... they're like 15 bucks, 20 yeah, bucks. Yeah. Love a good $85 sale. Yes. So when I'm saying like, okay, well, we didn't sell that many things. And this is going to bring more profit than selling like five Chico's things. Yep. That's the reality of it. But you got to find it at a low enough cost, and you got to find the person that needs it, and you got to sell it, <laughs> and you got to list it. Yeah, that's a lot of things. I don't know about that. Listing it's the hardest part with menswear. Yeah. Oh, we can buy it, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There was a time we had a massive backlog of <laughs> menswear. Okay. The next thing is is is, 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 is a retro brand. I'm going to show you, and it is called Rocksteady. This is a black skirt and also might be a for a Halloween costume. Rock steady, size medium skirt, black high waisted circle pinup retro style rockabilly. I put the, all of those words in everything that looks kind of like this. Hmm. And this sold for $27.96. Let's see if we can find a brand here made in the USA. Rock steady is a website. I'm yeah, having a. Is everything, everything okay? Yeah, my watch is like having an issue. All right. Trying to find the, the brand tag. I don't know, yeah. Do we have one? No. Oh, it says it here. Steadyclothing.com. Steady clothing. And I think I went to the website or something. Oh, okay. All right. Now you know. And there is 12. Okay. Next up was another one. Another ground advantage. Sweet. This is a Talbot's top. I believe I got this at the bins. It says five six nine. I don't know. It's new with tags, so maybe. Yeah, it came from. Maybe it came from a state sale. I'm not sure. Either it was either a state sale or like a, one of those box purchases or something. something. This is just a oh, regular maybe. Talbot's t-shirt, but it is new as tags. And I told you guys, I, I suspect that Talbot's is worth more than she goes. And I, I do think that that's true. Yeah. Um, it's 100% cotton. It's a medium petite. And it is 
new with tags right here. And it was at $39.99 at the store, as you can see. So the title was Talbot's Women's Size MP, Medium Petite, T-shirt, Top, Paisley Print, Stretch, Brand New. Again, Paisley's doing extraordinarily well for us. And it sold for $25. Sweet. Which, heck yeah. I mean, if we did pay five, literally five dollars, that's a lot. I don't think that we would have. I don't think so. But it may have been the average cost of goods that day, which I can see it happening. Yeah. Hey, look at that from the bins. Another Talbot bins. Yeah. This one's from Denver bins. This is a Talbot women's size medium puffer vest green removable for colorful zip this is out of the four puffer vests they've all sold now but some guy gave me at the colorado bins well I gave them to chelsea and then chelsea gave it to me which is so nice so nice this vest sold for 25 dollars i did have it overpriced a little bit I that think. is so chelsea i know She's so sweet hi chelsea Bye. okay and so it's no, you guys know I do this. I, what? You can fit it. Uh, it's not gonna, it's just not You gotta good. flatten the bottom out, I think. Yeah, I kind of did. Not smash it. I believe in you. You gotta roll it. You gotta roll. <laughs> You're the one that always says that. It is a little bit. It's tight. Look at you. You don't believe in yourself? It's, it's just, I don't, it's just not gonna. Oh, it's gonna crumble. Yeah. It's just not gonna. You work. tried. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I was gonna say is, I source Eileen Fisher petite stuff on the internet all the time. Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. I find somebody who has a closet and <laughs> I buy it all. I mean, you could try it too. There's plenty of it out there. Anyway, so the next thing is an Eileen Fisher tea piece. And this is Eileen Fisher women's size extra small pencil. Is this not petite? Is this the one I just listed? <clears throat> this is not even petite. I love it. <laughs> uh, size extra small pencil skirt, washable stretch crepe black. Once you know what washable stretch crepe feels like, it's mm. very easy to list you know what it is it's a nylon viscose spandex blend and it is very sought after yeah this is just regular extra small all right i think i listed this today really how do i find this out where does it say i know that i listed this during the live today i know it i think this sold in four seconds what does it say what is that start time views start september 7th was that no what's that <laughs> that's a month ago okay was it about to be relisted uh, yeah, I guess. I listed another one of these today. Anyway, it sold. Oh, no, you are. Oh, you done. Mm. Oh, another tablet. Oh. <laughs> okay, the Eileen Fisher sold for $34.95, which is our full asking price. Sweet. That's awesome. Our sale expired, and some people bought stuff when it wasn't on sale. And that was one of them. It says we paid five dollars for it. Do you believe that? I do. Because I retail arbitrage did it. Ah, that's right. Your online arbitrage did. Oh yeah, online arbitrage. That's Nine. True. Okay. Next is Talbot's again. What is happening? Come on, Talbs. Talbot's women's plus size 16W dress pants, black cotton stretch front zip tapered pants. I left a lot of Talbots at the thrift. I'm not saying that all Talbots should right. be picked up. No, no, I, I understand. But something was happening with the Talbots. Uh, we did go thrifting yesterday, and we picked up um, a lot of stuff. Yeah. But we tried not to pick up stuff we already had. We were trying to get new, newer to our store kind of stuff. And here's the Talbots. I'll show you. These are just black pants. It is harder to sell black pants. I will say that. But people need them. So it's, it's worth it to list them. Talbot's 16W stretch. And these sold for $23.96. Again, more than Chico's. Chico's normally sell for $20 for us. Not that much more, but still more. Right. I saw a little fuzz. Uh
All right, pants. You gonna work with me here? Eee. Someone's yelling, use the legal size. I'm not sure that we have any. I think we do. Maybe. Oh, ah! Yeah. Success. <clears throat> Okay, next is diesel jeans. Hey. Another pair of men's diesel jeans. I don't have any data about women's diesel. I don't know. But men's, we sold two pairs this weekend. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Maybe there was a TikTok. I mean, that's very plausible. Okay, so these are the diesel men's size, 3332 Buster jeans, Buster. medium wash, stretch, slim, tapered leg, and I uh, got all that info from the tag. Ah. <laughs> these sold for $40 on an offer that someone sent me. That's great. It says we paid three dollars and thirty-three cents. Love that for us. I know, right? The next is a gift that we're not supposed to talk about, so we will not. Oh, got it. And then another pair of jeans. Hi. You know, we don't. I didn't even look at the jeans section when we threw it. You didn't look at the jeans? Mm -mm. Oh no. Not the women's jeans. Oh no. We sold some jeans. Maybe I should look at the jeans. Maybe you should have looked at the jeans. Yeah, not that jeans. <laughs> Because the next thing is a women's pair of jeans, but this is a banger brand. If, you, really if you're is. really trying to learn bolo brands, here's one for you. So pay attention. Uh, and you've seen this on our channel a lot. This is Veronica Beard. Great, great resale brand. Holds its value extraordinarily well. Veronica Beard, women's size 32, jeans, Stratton, high rise, button fly, skinny stretch. And these, someone sent me an offer, as I will keep saying. Um, and it tells you the cut and the style number. It's very easy to look up. Here's the tag that you're looking for. And Veronica Beard can just say that, or it can say jeans. Yeah, we paid for jeans. Um, yeah, we yep. did. We sure did. Sure did. I will always pay up for Veronica Beard. How much did we pay? $16.91. dollars $16. jeans. Wait, after the diesel jeans. After the diesel jeans. After the what? After diesel. the diesel jeans. I gotta switch this around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. Whoopsie! I left you guys stranded. Sorry. Okay. I'm sick of looking at the jeans. Enough with the jeans. Thank you. Okay, next is Soft Surroundings. A uh, brand that just declared bankruptcy. And that is sad to me. It is. Here it is. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Soft Surroundings. Women's size large. Tunic sweater top. Sheer stripe detail black. And this ended up selling for eighteen thirty three, Which is, you know, fine. Eh. It's fine. It's fine. But look at that detail on the sleeves. You couldn't see that on a flat It's true. It looks nice. That looks good. Good job. Now that seems like an offer I sent out because I just do a, we have a sale and then we have coupon and then we have, I send out a 10% on top of that. You know, I do that. So these weird numbers are offers that I send out usually and the even numbers are offers that people send to me. Mm -hmm. They're also sending O oh, one. Always, always 1601, please. Because <laughs> they want the shipping, because they're not thinking that there's taxes and everything, so they just like try to get free shipping. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, the next is Eileen Fisher. All right. Let me tee it up here. I found a good amount of Eileen Fisher at Thrift, too, more than we have in, in recent times, for good. sure. Eileen Fisher, size medium, silk baby doll tank, layered square neck, gray, 3D flower shell. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous top. I don't know why this didn't sell earlier. We've had it listed for quite some time. I had to take an offer of $20 on it. 
but it's gorgeous. Maybe the photography, you know, it's hard to capture something like this. Yeah, it looks way better in person. It's, it's really, really nice in person. And it's 100% silk. It feels amazing. I don't even know where the Eileen Fisher tag is. There, there it is. is. Yep. Okay. All right. So 20 bucks for that. Next, we got Chico's. Okay. All right. This is Chico's Travelers. I know you're shocked. Right. Chico's Travelers, women's size 2, US 12, large, reversible, tank top, crew, scoop neck, new. This new attacks, okay. baby. Okay. This sold for $19.99. That's just a tank top, so I took the offer. Yeah. Basic. We're just trying to move stuff. You got to do what you got to do. How much is this? How much this says? Huh? $49, $49 for a tank top. Come on, Chico's. It's expensive. I've never paid $49 for a tank top in my life. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> All right, I got to do a switcheroo again. Uh oh. No heavy lifting. Where are we at here? This one. Okay. All right, next is another pink top. Pink top. That's weird. That is weird. Another basic. This one's from J. Jill. I love so many of these basics behind. Yeah. J. Jill, women's size medium, perfect reversible tank top. Another reversible one. Hey. Cotton stretch, variable neck red. This one is going to a totally different person. Wow. Hmm. Well, you know. And this one sold for 20 bucks. Also, great. Love that. Uh, it does say here, see, perfect reversible tank. Thanks, J. Jill. Thanks. I love when they tell you exactly what to call it. What it is. Yep. All right. Um, next is a Chico. Oh, it's a big boy. This, is, right. a, this is a ham. <laughs> We've got a ham situation again. Oh, this is pretty though. My photo room was not pretty on this. Oh well. Chico's women's size two, US twelve, large, open cardigan sweater, cable knit, cotton new, and this is a really pretty. Look at my photo room, y'all. I sometimes we just you just gotta just we just gotta it. go. I should have fixed that. It may have been one of the days that photo room was acting up. Yeah. Sometimes it does that. Eh. You don't have to be perfect. You just got to sell stuff. That's my new motto. Yeah. I and like this it. was $54.99 on clearance at the store. And it sold for us for $28.76. All right. Yeah, the knit does pretty well, particularly, I mean, it's new, so that's good. A lot of new stuff was selling. And we start to see this around this time of year. Gifting time. Got a lot of Jewish holidays happening. Got, I think there's some air in that you might be able to. There's some air in here. Oh. That's the purpose of the. Oh. He's going to put all his weight to it. Oh, I love this. Yes, yes. <laughs> Christmas ham. Look at all these new things. New, new, new. Yeah, man. much better okay next is another cardigan this time it is from eileen fisher it is also new eileen fisher size petite medium merino cashmere luxe shawl collar long cardigan new okay. and this here thing that's amazing yeah. sold for 77 bucks nice that's what i'm talking about right Bringing it home. Uh, we did pay nine oh five for this. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a high cost of goods, but when you can sell it for seventy seven, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's acceptable. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a really, really stunning piece. I think whoever bought this is gonna be very happy with it. Let's see what the retail on this was. I don't think we have it on here now. No, it's been torn off the bottom. Yeah, really, really gorgeous coat, sweater coat. I mean, I'm sure like. Like probably two two fifty three hundred bucks. Yeah, and it's more. been listed a long time. So to get a seventy seven, that was great. 
Really, really great. The next one is another piece of menswear in a complete banger brand. Like, amazing brand. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. guy, this guy got a, a really good deal. Yep. So this next thing is a Brioni. And we've had it listed for quite some time. I'll yes, tell you. Yeah. So with menswear, you just got to wait for the right buyer. That's the moral of the story, I believe. Brioni recent men's size 48 long sport coat, black check, silk wool. So nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a really nice coat. Um, I'm going to get here and show you the label. So if you ever see this label, it is definitely worth your time. I, you don't even need to look it up. You need to look it over. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this sold for $130. $130. Which is, uh, in, it's a steal. Yeah. It's insane. I mean, you can look at, there's some comps on eBay for used pre-owned Brionis that are like in the three four hundred dollar range. Yeah. We could have. Because the, re the retail countered. is ridiculous. We did it's counter. Like a, yeah, we went back and forth a couple of times. Yeah. But the retail retail on something like this is like five or six grand. Probably. Yeah. What do we pay for it? Um, four seventy nine. So, and it's been listed quite a long time. So to get 130, I mean, we're still making big money for yep. us. Yep. Good. Can't complain about that. Nope. Okay. The next thing is a new with tags. So I'm picking up on that theme. I already have mentioned it, but it's worth noting. And we do know that going into fourth quarter, normally new with tag stuff does do well. And yep. we're seeing that. This is anthropology. Right. And this is this is a Frenzy Baxi. Frenzy Baxi, trademark. <laughs> anthropology women's size extra small. Madchen red striped towel virgin. Vi oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I'm reading a French thing in English. Yo, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> All right, it's a red and white striped sweater. Okay. There you go. It's uh cashmere blend. It's really, really it's nice. Very nice. It's new with tags and uh, it sold for 30 bucks. Nice. And throw has gone down in value most things. However, there are some things out there, some of their maxi dresses, some of their coats that are just total bolo. So I don't write off any brand like that. You just never know. Okay, hey, another go. piece of Eileen Fisher. Nice, nice. Come on, Eileen. Yeah, man, let's go. This is just a t-shirt, and I love it. <laughs> Eileen Fisher, size medium, stretch jersey, crew neck, easy fit, long sleeve, top, black. It literally is a long sleeve t-shirt, and this sold for $31.96. Love it. Yep. Here's the tag, and here's the material tag, which is located in the lower part of the shirt. All right. Come on. Next. Next, we have a vintage piece. Vintage. Also, might be part, part of a Halloween costume. Most likely. Yeah, it could be. I'm not going to say most likely. But. Yeah, it could be. Uh, we do well with vintage when I actually list it. <laughs> That's the truth. This is a, this came from a costume collection, I'm pretty sure. 1970s vintage Van Heusen Splendor, 100% texturized polyester shirt, men's size large brown. You can tell it's been listed a while because I do not make my titles like this anymore. I put the size right up front in my title. Yeah. Uh, you could tell this is from the 1970s, baby. For sure. Look at that Van Heusen still around. Come on. Splendor. <laughs> still making shirts. <laughs> uh, this sold for 24 bucks. Really happy about that. I'm pretty sure that's from my collection or from the bins. I'm not sure. Um, next, I got these in a haul and I'm pretty sure I've shown them to you before. I got a couple pairs of BDG jeans and I paid thrift prices for, which is shocking, mm -hmm. but they do really well for in, in trendy styles. Like you yeah. can list them fast, get a trendy style and get it up fast. You know, it's, uh, these are the, um, 
it would help. Okay, BDG. I can't see anything. <laughs> Urban Outfitters, women's size 24, blue, high rise, baggy, distressed, straight jeans. They have like a, a big amount Huge. of factory oh. distressing right there. Yep. And uh, I, it tells you the thing. I find that the, the size really doesn't matter. Uh, and anyway, BDG is an Urban Outfitters like house brand. And those sold for $20.37. All right, not bad. Not too bad. Um, when we got the van haul, when we did that big buyout, we listed anything that was new at Tags, even if we didn't know the brand. And the next thing is something that we did not know the brand, but it was new. So we listed it. So this one is Mel and Lisa. Who? Uh, <laughs> women's size medium, button front top, silk, cream color, vintage, new tags. And <clears throat> the retail on this baby was $130. Dang. I'm going to show you the tag here. Here it is. Mel and Lisa. And it sold for us for $45.86. Not bad. Not just bad because, at all. Right. So... Here's the moral, I think. I'm not sure. You know, we're just two resellers in their garage office. But <laughs> I think even if you don't know the brand and even if the comps aren't there, like if there's no solds, no listeds, which is similar to what happened here, I just go off the retail. I'm like, there's somebody out there that used to love this and they're looking for another one and I price it there. I don't price it at like $20 to clear it yeah. in that case. I try to like price it for yeah. its actual value. Yeah. And it's silk. So I was like, hmm. Right. So I'm really happy that that sold. That's a great sale for us. Dead stock. And it's going to New York. Awesome. Love that. New York, New York. That's a clue. Mm -hmm. Yep. And finally. Finally. What do we got? A free people. Okay. <laughs> oh, she is hanging a little low here. What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey. Three people, women's Somebody size, needs a snap. small, Rosie <laughs> Lee wrap top, blue, deep V, boho ruffle sleeve. Deep V. That is deep. <laughs> that is deep. Wow. Okay. She could have had her little bralette on, sir. Hey, I. See, we use a little skirt. That's her bum is covered with a skirt. But she has a little bra too, but not now. <laughs> She's living her best life. Yeah. yeah. There's no way to judge. So this is a size small, and of course, like much of Free People, it is oversized. Uh, this Free People top sold for $20.37, and I would guess that we got it at the bins. I'm assuming. What does this ticket say? It says $3.49, but I just don't believe it. <laughs> we don't believe anything. <laughs> it's all lies. All right. Okay, I got to switch you Ruby to this. Okay, I got to refresh this and hope, hope it comes back. <laughs> No, it was, that was bad. Yeah, kind of scary. Come on. All right, refresh. Come on. Come on, bulk shipping. All right, totals are adding up. Looks like it's working. We're good. Good. We're good. All right, I'm going to start. Okay, I can read them too. I'm just trying to Padded. get into the Next roll. one is a flat range. Where are you at? Where are you at? Here. On number three. Padded flat rate. Flat rate, padded envelope. Okay, the HSM yes. is that that's going to Texas, just letting you know. Yes. Okay. So it's 213. 213. 11313. 11, yeah, that's like right down the street. Yeah. It's super cheap in that box. Okay. It's even cheaper than a flat rate envelope. And you're gonna set a priority. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and then uh, I was I was seeing the like, ground advantage, but no, no, nah. same. Okay, uh, rock steady is twelve ounces. Twelve. Um, what do you do? Talbots is six. Six. Talbots is padded flat rate. Flat rate padded. I mean Fisher. Nine. Okay. Talbots flat rate envelope. Envelope. Okay. Diesel flat rate envelope. Yep. Uh, the gift was two ounces. Two ounces, check. Flat rate envelope, Veronica Beard. Flat rate envelope. Soft surroundings, 10 ounces. Okay. Eileen Fisher, four ounces. Four ounces. Okay. Uh, Chico's Travelers, eight ounces. Yep. 
J. Jill, five ounces. Okay. Uh, Chico is flat rate padded. Flat rate padded. I think fish are flat rate padded. Flat rate padded. Okay, Brioni, two pounds on the nose. Two on the nose. 11, three, 13. Okay. Uh, and then the Anthro is padded flat rate. Yep. Eileen is eight. Eight. Van Houston is eight. Eight. BDG is flat rate envelope. Check. Melon Lisa is nine ounces. Nine. And Free People is six ounces. Six. Come on, work. <laughs> yes. Success. Oh. What's that red banner? Failed. We weren't able to generate labels for these orders. You haven't been charged. Just this, the grain, the suit. Okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll do that. In the... Do you hear the lawn people again? No, they don't because this. Good. Great. Not unless they try to come right into the garage again. <laughs> okay, after. Oh my God. I'll just do it in a new tab. That's what I'll do. New tab, shipping, label, Such a game changer. Oh my, right? <clears throat> All right. Let me get my screen up so I make sure I'm putting the right label on the right thing. We have to triple check everything. Oh. oh no, wait. No. Why did one sound weird? Right there? Maybe it was the one it skipped. Mm -hmm. All right. First up is the bundle for Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. One, 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 seven, two. Nine two nine zero. Whoa. Okay. So not this. Not. What is that? I think this might be the suit. This is the HSM. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Set that one somewhere. Perfect. Now where do we at? Nine two nine zero. Yep. Perfect. One oh nine two two. Nine six seven four. <clears throat> One oh eight five two. What? 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 One oh eight five two. No. There's a Talbot's pants nine eight eight seven. That's the next one. Oh. Maybe they got some stuff on. Mm, that's weird. Okay. What do I want to make? Got it, got it, got it. Woo, 
This is why we triple check. Exactly right. 9887. Yep. Yeah. I guess I did that. Hmm. 10753. Yes. The gift. Gift. Yep. Mm -hmm. One oh one three five. One oh eight four two. Seven two zero three. Uh -oh. You don't have to get that. 10229. Maybe can't bend down. Can't bend down. 10693. One oh three five five. <laughs> five six three zero. Oh, I'm missing it. That's okay. Five, six, three, zero. Four, three, four, six. Then, four, three, four, six. Okay, you're going to have to open it. I'm That's so sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Six, zero, one, six. That's so bad. Doctor's orders. <laughs> 7207. It's not cooperating. These bags are not open enough. Oh. <laughs> 6792. Brooklyn. Yeah. 6121. Nine eight five one. One o two o nine. That's it, right? Oh. oh, you already printed it. Cool. Okay, hold on, I gotta get it. Oh, I got the laundry. All right. Woo! Woo! We did it. I feel good about this. I think the profit's gonna be okay. I do too. I do too. If you want to find out, stick around. We'll be right back. What are you doing? Oh. You get her, Jeremy. Get her. <laughs> Why are you all crazy? Yeah, you. Don't let me stop you, Picnic. Get him. No? All right, the standoff continues. Bye. Hi. Hey, okay. We're back. Hi. Hey. Just finished. Just finished. I just barely made it. Um, the guy at the post office was really, really like the Ikea bags. He's like, oh, these are nice. Where do you get these, Amazon? I'm like, no, dude, Ikea. <laughs> Some people don't know. They don't know. All right. We are going to check out the profit number for the three-day weekend. Ready? Yeah. Go. Look at that. Very close. It is very close to $1,000. Very, very close. So like right there. Man. Yeah. I don't, I'm okay with that. I'm pretty stoked about it, I'm actually. I'm pretty stoked about that. That's, look at that ASP. I know. That's nice. Yeah. That's what happens when just... you sell a couple of higher dollar things. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if we could just keep this going. I did look at our year to date and compared okay. it to last year. We are up. Okay. Uh, overall. But 
the yep. amount of items listed that we've listed this year compared to this point last year is staggering. Is it? It's way more, okay. but our profits were only up like ten thousand dollars or something from last year. It's okay. It's okay. It is. Um. It's okay. <laughs> it really is. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. That's all we do. I listed thirty-five things today. Awesome. You guys took pictures of a million more. Yeah. We'll list a million more tomorrow on the live in the morning. Okay. We're just going to keep on trucking. Yes. We're back to doing the lives. There was a little bit of a break there. Sorry. We're back. We're back. Regular schedule, 930 a.m. Central time. Uh, the link to the live channel is down below. Come hang out with us, please. Yeah. And we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Bye.